Hi guys, it's Morgan. Um, so today I am going to be making a video, obviously, about why I dropped out of high school. Um, and I kind of didn't want to make this video. The only reason I'm making this video is because there's a rumor being spread about me. And also, somebody asked, and although it's like personal, um, I've already put so much out on the internet, I felt like, you know, might as well talk about it because when I was, like, considering doing it, I went on YouTube and I googled, you know, people's stories and I couldn't find that many that I could relate to, you know? So, I figured I would make this video, so, yeah. So, first of all, I'm gonna get the rumor out of the way, no, I'm not pregnant, um, not that I'm aware of anyways, um, <clears throat> so, yeah, somebody messaged me on Inst or not Instagram, Snapchat, and was like, hey, so you really are a hoe, aren't you? And I was like, what the fuck, uh, no, <laughs> what are you talking about? And they were like, I heard you love school because you're pregnant, and I was like, no, like, that's fucking rude, and I'm pretty sure I know who start started the rumor, but I'm not going to call anybody out. Anyways, so, now I'm going to kind of get into why I've dropped out of high school. So basically, um, I've always had trouble in school since I was fucking an infant, I don't know, since like birth. I've just been really shitty in school, I just didn't care. Like every single day I would go to the fucking nurse's office in like elementary school and be like, I'm sick, I want to go home, like call my mom please. And you know, they just, it was whatever. Um, I just like hated being at school, I've always, always hated being at school. And the only reason I've ever like looked forward to going to school is not for the learning, it's for the like human interaction, you know? Which is one of the reasons why I did consider going back just because like I'm not doing anything right now. Um, I did quit my job, which I'm not going to make a video about that, I'm not even going to really address it just because I, I feel really blessed to even have had the job that I did, you know what I mean? So I don't want to like get into that and bash my employer because like, you know, they gave me a job, they employed me for six months, and I really am grateful for that. <clears throat> Anyways, so right now I'm just sitting at home, which sucks, you know? And so I, I did consider going back, um, but I don't, I don't think it's an option. <laughs> Anyways, so like I was saying, I've always, always, always been bad at school. Like, always. Like, I still can't even do some of my times tables. Like, my nines and my sevens and my eights and my fours <laughs> and my threes. Um, I'm just, like, I'm really bad at math. Um, that's not the point. I'm just, I've always been really shitty at school. And I've always just done, like, the minimum to pass, you know? Because I never, I never cared, really, um, since, again, elementary school. Um... 7th grade. I guess well, okay, I was a good kid. I was always I was always a really good kid in school. Um like I never really got into trouble, but I never did my work, you know? So once 7th grade got like came around, I started getting in a lot of trouble. For whatever reason. <laughs> I just like once I hit my teen my teenage years, I was like, I'm going to be a fucking bitch <laughs> and I'm going to fucking f fuck fuck 12, you know what I mean? And I'm just going to fucking get in a bunch of trouble, whatever. So, I've been like that since, basically. Um, but, uh, when high school came around, you know, everything kind of changed. Because, obviously, in elementary school and in middle school, like, it doesn't go off credits, you know? If you pass most of your classes, they just move you to the next grade. They don't really give a fuck. They're not going to, like, push you or whatever. But, once you get into high school, if you, pa if you fail a class, or fail half a semester, you know, that's, that's a credit, you know what I mean? So, I was still in that mentality of like, oh, sorry, oh, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Like, you know, when I came into high school, I was more concerned about boys and my social life <laughs> than school, which is how I've pretty much always been. Um, <clears throat> so... 
Let me think. Freshman year, I failed two classes, I believe. Yeah, I failed two classes freshman year and I went to summer school for one because you can only make up one in summer school, <laughs> one, one credit. So that's what I did. I went to summer school. And then sophomore year, I failed another class. Had to go to summer school again. Junior year, I failed two classes. Um, went to summer school again. And now it's my senior year. And I was taking IPC. Actually, first of all, let me let me say this. There are a few different plans that you can go on. I live in Texas, by the way. I don't know how it is in other places, but I there are a few different plans that you can be on while uh, in high school in order to graduate. You can go on like the minimum plan, the regular plan, and then the uh, advanced plan or whatever. So like the minimum, you only need like 24 or 22 credits, and then the regular, you need 26 credits, and then the advanced, I have no fucking idea, like 28, 30, I have no idea. But I was on the regular plan throughout most of high school, and then this is my this was my senior year, so I dropped down to the minimum plan because I was failing. So I was taking uh, IPC, which is Integrated Physics and Chemistry, um, because I had failed like pretty much every year of science. And last year for physics, I slept the entire year. Like I'm not kidding. <laughs> I don't even know why I showed up to that class because I did nothing. I failed with like a fucking 14. Like I did nothing. Um, so I had to take IPC. Then I had ROTC, which is just like an extracurricular. Then I had English 4, which is a senior class. Um, and I was failing that. I was also failing IPC, excuse me. <clears throat> I was also failing IPC. Um, then I had painting which I was passing obviously um then I had economics I was failing that then what else was I taking AQR which is a math class which is an easy fucking math class also failing that and then I had English 3 which is a junior class and I was, I was also failing that so I was failing everything you take seven classes in a day and I was failing five of them so you see the dilemma. Um, in the beginning of the school year, I just wasn't going to class. I was skipping all the time. I didn't give a fuck. Um, but I was passing, and then my dad was like, well, we're going to take you out of school if you don't start going to class. So I started going to every class, but I, I just stopped doing my work. So that was my problem. Um, so, yeah. Basically, the reason that I'm not... <laughs> that I dropped out is because... I wasn't going to graduate on time with my class and since like literally freshman year I was like if I'm not gonna graduate on time if I'm not gonna fuck <laughs> sorry if I'm not going to walk the stage with the people that I came in with then I'm not gonna walk the stage at all you know that's always the mentality that I've had and so I decided that I was gonna drop out. And I'm not just like fucking dropping out and sitting on my ass, like I'm looking for a job. Um, CTC opens like the 7th and I plan on making an appointment and taking taking a, the GED test, whatever. And then after I get my GED, I can get my license and stuff. So yeah, I'm not really gonna get in too much too much into what my plan is just because I read something somewhere that was like, if you tell people what you're planning to do, you're less likely to actually do it, you know? But that's just like a totally different thing. Anyways, so yeah, um, that's pretty much why I'm not going to school anymore. It's not because I'm pregnant. It's not because I tried to kill myself. It's not fucking anything crazy, you know? I just, I was failing. And... Here's the thing, here's a big misconception, excuse me, here's a big misconception about GEDs. Um, people think that you cannot get a job with a GED, and that's completely not true. Um, as long as you have something, that's what's important, you know? Um, a diploma and a GED, they're like the same fucking thing. Do employers look at them differently? Yes. However, if you have a GED and you go to college, 
it doesn't fucking matter. You know what I mean? Like, if you just have a high school diploma, that ain't shit. Like, you ain't shit if you just got a high school diploma. Like, basically, a bachelor's degree, or is it a master's? I'm pretty sure it's a bachelor's. A bachelor's degree is like, why the fuck is my camera shaking? I'm sorry. A bachelor's degree is like the new high school diploma. So if you don't have a bachelor's degree, like, you're not going to be able to have a good job anyways. You know what I mean? So regardless of if you have a bachelor's degree or a GED, you're going to have to go to college. You know what I mean? So that's a huge misconception. Um, so don't think, like, I can't get a fucking job because I have a GED. You know? And it's it's not for everybody. It's really not. <laughs> um, if you're thinking about dropping out, try not to, <laughs> um, try to finish school, it is a waste of time, absolutely, high school is an absolute fucking waste of time, but I wish I could still go, <laughs> you know, um, so, yeah, pretty much, um, I think that's all I have to say, if you're thinking about dropping out, I mean, really consider all of your options, you know, why the fuck is my goddamn camera shaking? Okay, if you're thinking about dropping out, please consider all your options. Because although getting a GED isn't, like, that big of a difference from having a high school diploma, it still does make some things harder, you know? So, and it's not for everybody. I wish I didn't have to do this, but obviously I have to, so... Yeah, but it's it's really not for everybody, and I'm not promoting it. I'm not saying, drop out of high school, because it's, like, the best thing, you know? No, it's not. But, like, if that's what you need to do, do it. You know, I wasn't happy in school, so now I'm not in school. I sound really stupid, but whatever. Um, so, yeah, I guess that's the end of the video. I'm not pregnant, <laughs> just so everybody knows. Not that I'm aware of, so... Yeah, pretty much. That's it. I love you guys, and thanks for watching. I'm sorry, this video was really shitty. Probably not gonna edit it either, so. Yeah, anyways, I love y'all. See you later. <laughs>